So when it comes to annotating and detailing within AutoCAD, one of the things that can take the most amount of time is dimensioning for a lot of different reasons, right? I mean, you want your drawings to look you know, great. You want to be able to convey the information that's required to you know, build that or manufacture the object, but also because you got to be flipping back and forth between aligned and horizontal and radius. So what they've done to address this in 2016 is they've taken the dim command, which has been there for, for a long time, but they've really taken it out, completely reworked it, and put it back in there. So now when I start dim, what's going to happen is notice that as I roll my cursor over particular objects, I'm going to start seeing some previews popping up. So I'm going to get a preview of the type of dimension it's going to create. So I'm going to pick the circle here, and now what I can do is come out there and, and position that dimension where I want. If I come in here and pick this line here, notice I can come out and pick the location of that line. So the idea is that as I'm in this particular um, dim command, it will continue to create those dimensions for me. So if I come in here and pick this point and then come over here, notice that it's just doing a regular, um, you know, linear dimension for me. If I was to pick a point, let's say like this, and then a point there, um, you can see that depending on how I move my cursor, it'll actually flip back and forth between the lines, um, linear, horizontal, and the whole works. Now what I can also do is while I'm in the dim command is notice I can right click and notice on my right click, I can create angular, I can do ornate, I can align dimensions, I can actually distribute. So it's like they took all the dimension features um, in one bundle and added them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a dimension from here to here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and say continue. This is where I wanna continue from and I wanna snap there, I wanna snap there, I wanna snap there. And we can see that I was able to continue that dimension um, from that point. So again, it's like they took all the dimension commands, rolled them into one, and you can often run it from one dimension feature. Now, the other thing they did with dimensions, whether you're using dim or not, is there's a new system variable called dim layer. Now with dim layer, what you can do is actually set the layer that you want your dimensions to be created on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to be rm num. So I'm actually gonna set it to use this room number layer here um, automatically. So I've, I've changed this back to zero. Notice that when I click um, command here, I'm gonna pick my points here. And even though my layer drop down here isn't changing, notice that the dimension was created on that particular room num layer. So what's great about this is you no longer have to worry, did I set it right to the right layer as I was creating my dimensions? So you can set that in your template um, or set it as, as you're going with your drawings. So a combination of those two features, I think, are going to seriously change how you dimension your drawings um, because you really can, can focus on one command and really just kind of heads down dimension your drawings.